Welcome back. In the previous step, we executed multiple tasks and we waited for all of them to complete execution. However, some of the times you would want to wait for only one of them to complete execution and take the result of the one which completes first. And executor service also allows us to do that. Let's see how to do that in this specific step. Let's copy the multiple callable runner and I'll call this multiple any callable runner. Let's open the multiple any callable runner. And over here, the change that we would need to make is we created a list of tasks and what we want to do is not invoke all, but to do invoke any. So what invoke any does is it would wait for any of these tasks to complete. So if one of the tasks completes, it gets the result. So the result is just one result. So what would happen if you would see is we would just have one result back. So it directly returns a string with the result. And let's directly print the result out in here. What we are doing in here is very simple, right? We are kicking off three tasks. Whichever one completes, we are taking that result and we are printing that out. So if there are three services that you are using and you want to give your customer the fastest result, then you would just take the first one and return it back. In those kind of situations, invoke any is very, very useful. Let's now kick off this. You can see that hello Ranga is printed. Let's kick it off again. Hello Adam. You can see that the result changes because we have three threads and three, thre three tasks that are assigned. You would see that each time I run it, there might be a reprint result. Right? So you can see that there are different results coming in. Now, that's the invoke any method. In this quick step, we looked at how to use the invoke any method. You can pass multiple list of tasks and as soon as one of these tasks completes execution, it returns the result and we can use the result. That's the use of the invoke any. Until the next step, bye-bye. This video is part of a Java course with more than 250 steps helping you become an expert on Java. You can find the complete course details in the description of the video. Along with it, you can also find the details of a free PDF with 200 pages of awesome code examples in 28 minutes, creating great programmers.